Once a year, Athens momentarily shuts down as more than 100 professional bikers soar through the streets for the annual twilight race. For everyday bikers traveling around the city on a normal day, though, getting around isn't always such a breeze. The, the town really needs to get on board in, with making transportation for all people, pedestrians, cyclists, walkers, runners, a lot better. It's so far behind the rest of the nation, it's, it's kind of really actually pretty bad. I mean, in my 16 years I've been here, they've added bike lanes, but they kind of don't connect to anything. They're in terrible places like Epps Bridge Parkway over near like Walmart, where no one's ever going to ride their bike over there. Campus in UGA has done a pretty good job uh, with, you know, putting bike lanes and being a little bit more bike friendly. But, you know, really the town as a whole really needs to catch up. In 10 or 20 years, we are hoping that there is a complete full network of high quality bike infrastructure, uh, certainly a network of either bike lanes or ideally protected bike lanes that provide some physical separation between the bike traffic and motor vehicle traffic, certainly on a core network of streets. We hear from way too many people, we hear from way too many women especially, that they would love to ride more but they don't feel safe or comfortable doing so because so often they're having to share the road with no bike lane with high speed distracted drivers. If you ever, you know, that's something people say to me like, oh, when you ride your bike, you need to be so careful. Whenever we get on the streets, we need to be careful. It's very rare that somebody, you see people leave a restaurant, oh, be careful out there. But the, you know, when we're driving, that's when we should be most careful. Our cars weigh. 2,000 pounds, we're driving them at 60 miles an hour, and too many people don't take that responsibility seriously. About 20 people on bike die in Georgia a year, and that is certainly 20 too many. But by the numbers, driving, I would argue, is much more dangerous 